Hi, I'm Earl Pittman. I'm part of the Windsor Neighbors for Responsible Drilling, a group of neighbors who are very concerned about Great Western's proposed drilling site here on the Pace property. We're for the oil and gas industry, but drilling next to neighborhoods is not responsible drilling, and we oppose it. I'm standing here in a field between High Point Estates and Bison Ridge neighborhoods, where Great Western Oil and Gas wants to drill 28 horizontal wells, super wells, with 45 oil tanks, among hundreds of family homes. It's a huge operation that they're proposing. Uh, this is a great neighborhood, and I'm, I'm afraid that the property values are gonna go down because you know it's not only that there's one site coming in here, we have another site being proposed just west of us, and there's a few more uh, east of us. They're all over the place. Once we found out um, the intentions of these oil and gas companies and what they're proposing to do, um, it has become a real significant life-changing event for us. When we bought into this neighborhood, we bought into a lifestyle. We bought into, you know, why do we have open space? Why do we have public trails in our community? Why do we have this 55-page CCNR HOA covenant that we have to abide by? Well, we look at that and we say, hey, this protects us. This protects our community. This is the basic form of government, the fabric of our community. This says we all can live in peace here and we all have to follow a certain set of rules. Well, maybe those rules don't apply when it comes to oil and gas. I realized a week into it the significance of multi-well pad sites of the hydraulic fracturing. My neighborhood realized the significance and we knew it's something that we did not want in the middle of our HOA in the neighborhood. The neighborhoods are concerned about what happens in our area. We do not want an industrial operation with all of that truck traffic, noise, gas, explosion, possibility, light pollution, dropped inside neighborhoods so close to homes. It belongs in its own zone, far away from homes as possible. There are a whole range of concerns, including health effects from the release of chemicals. A film was recently released showing the release of volatile organic compounds beside a school in Greeley. The operator says that's standard operating procedure. Every time they empty one of those tanks into a tanker truck to take the oil away, they release those compounds. Those fumes are toxic, and they're just going to cross the ground into our neighborhoods and invade our homes. When you're putting that in my neighborhood next to my home, 500 feet from homes, that's concerning. This is families' lives, this is our safety, this is our property value. These are industrial sites with companies that don't have the technology that the big companies have, and they're putting it in our neighborhoods, and in my opinion, we are at risk. Flames shooting high in the air after a gas well blast, a community's worst fears come true. Natural gas drilling has become a booming business in western Pennsylvania. And with the benefits, of course, also come the dangers. This situation really hits home because so many of you live near one of them. Channel 11's Kara Sapita is covering this big story for us in Greene County, where a worker is still missing after this blast. Kara? Peggy, that's right. One worker still missing tonight. Another injured and taken to the hospital after this gigantic explosion. It lit up the sky here in this town. It's been eight hours now. The fire is still just as intense. We can't get near the site. In fact, firefighters can't get near the site. They had to call in a special crew. They are en route to put out the flames and it could take days. When we heard about that, that accident that happened in Mead, uh, that loss of life and that explosion. And then a couple days later, I think there was some more news making things in this area. I mean, you scratch your head and go, why would they want to stick them so close to a bunch of homes? Right now in Colorado, you're allowed to put an offshore platform 500 feet from a home, 500 feet from my family, my children. And I asked Great Western, who's putting 28 wells, 45 oil tanks, condensate tanks, separators, and they cannot answer their safety perimeter. This is a problem. The blast radius could propel things over a radius of almost 4,000 feet, and that's well within my neighbor's and my home's location to the drilling site. No other 
operation, whether it be a coal mine, a retail location, manufacturing, would pass a zoning permit to be able to build on that property. And it just really is not fair that the oil and gas industry could come in and put an industrial location that close to homes with all the impact that it provides. And we know that there's a location across the street that Great Western already owns, or there's other pads where they could co-locate these drilling locations so that they would be able to then drill east to west, still harvest the oil, but put no impact on the neighborhood whatsoever because they would be basically a mile away, similar to the drilling location that's up on the hill behind me. By no means is this to frack or not to frack, or if you're pro-fracking or against fracking. That has really nothing to do with this. The main core issue is doing this in a safe and responsible way. Simple as that. When they say this is responsible, it is not responsible. I, it, you ask anybody here in the subdivision, ask everybody in, in the town of Windsor that are feeling this right now. The heartache I have experienced, I know moms across Colorado have experienced that. I know there's moms in Greeley that could not stand up for themselves. We don't need this in our neighborhood. We don't need our neighborhoods turned into industrial sites and moving forward that no other mom, no other family will feel this heartache. Oil and gas is too important to Colorado and to our country to just stop exploration, stop drilling. But what we need to do, what we have to find a way to do is to balance the rights of the neighbors to these drilling sites. Colorado is a leader in many, many ways. They need to find a way to be a leader in this. There's responsible drillers out there that will not put an operation close to homes like Anadarko and Frederick. We need them to be the model and really enforce these regulations and change that so that others' neighborhoods won't have to suffer what we're proposed to go through.